Many people have said that President Trump is is widening or opening the Overton window to the political possibilities. Um, what do you think about that? And especially with respect to to science, is the window being opened? And how do, how do you see that? And and, and yeah. I would also want to be sure you ask you about is that um, you haven't said anything here that I've heard you say elsewhere, especially in your piece for Inquisitive, I believe about the, the, the scale of the disruption of science caused by this administration's order compared to some previous uh, forms of disruption. Can you say something about the Overton window and can you say something about how this, uh, this order and this administration's actions affect science in terms of scale compared to others? Yeah, and that's great because we were talking the, the, the yes. sort of Overton metaphor, if you will. Uh, I think in many ways, it's, I, and I think this is not controversial, uh, President Trump has over the years widened the Overton window in, in a number of ways. And, and I would argue probably the most important or, or biggest is just sort of the things he's allowed to say about sort of other people and about even foreign leaders and what have you. And, um, and, and language he's able to use and the sort of attacks that you just wouldn't see from presidents, at least not publicly. So I, I think that we, we should just note that. It's not subject of our discussion and I'm not an expert, but we should note that. On the other hand, I think that his administration has in many ways, closed other parts of the Overton window. Like, that's what I see this kind of, again, the details of which we want to both go back and check, but this sort of clear, at least, intent and, and sort of whether it's anticipatory obedience or even overreaction that's happening of things you can't talk about and you can't study. Um, and again, whether it's Neo or not is, is definitely happening. And so I, I think that there's like, it's like a, maybe it's a moving of the Overton window. And so but again, if on the left you had people trying to close other parts of the Overton window, like you can't talk about this because it might cause harm, I think, again, it's all pretty consistent. In terms of the scale, you know, again, it's, it's hard as we sit here, you know, what are we, I think today is the 20th, so we're a month into this, this administration. It's hard not to just point at it and say the scale of it. Now, and what do I mean? Well, as we were talking about- It's before, hard to say the scale of it, what? It's hard not to sort of look at the scale and say this is- bigger and different than it's been and, and on, a diff on a different scale. And, and one area, which you've already talked about, is sort of, you know, the, the sort of what you can put in papers or what you're allowed to study. But just the massive firings of people. Remember, so yes, everyone's looking at every agency. Trying to keep track of people who are being fired is basically impossible at this point, best I can tell. I'm sure someone's doing it. But, you know, a lot of these people are scientists. A lot of these, look at what, he, what, what they're doing at the CDC. Um, you know, other agencies or the FDA, these are, it, and it's not necessarily about research per se, right? This is what we're talking about. But just in terms of scientists and science, these are, these are employees or federal employees whose job is, and you can argue about whether they do it well or not, but it is clear that if no one's doing it, no one does, no, if everyone's fired, nobody does it, protecting us from, you know, using science, using evidence, using uh, research from, you know, threats, whether it's, um, you know, E. coli or uh, drugs that are contaminated or uh, pollution and what have you, those are all being gutted. And so that to me is, again, separate from research, but that shows you the scale, that the scale is just, it's much greater than we've seen before. Interesting. Let me, let me just suggest a metaphor. I'm going to change your met metaphor a little bit and see if you would accept this, this, um, this suggestion. So when I think about the Overton window, um, it does refer to things like the, the kinds of rhetoric that are available and, and acceptable. But I think Overton window is being more essentially about uh, a measure of the, the range of political possibilities that are open to discussion and active consideration. When a politician opens or shifts the over, Overton window, they shift the range of topics that now can be discussed. And many people think that a widening of the window can be a positive thing because it puts more, puts more things on the table. A lot of everyone agrees with that for harm-based reasons. But that's, one might say, I think, that Trump administration politically has in some ways shifted the Overton window, rhetorically, as you might point it up, but also has widened it in a variety of ways to include a whole bunch of po political solutions on a whole range of topics that were not even being considered or talked about uh, before. But here's a little twist I want to add to you, add for you. In the realm of science, would you, would you accept the idea? What do you think of the idea that we might say the Trump administration is perhaps shifting and maybe opening the Overton window, but is also putting up a screen 
It's putting a screen in the window that's now preventing a whole range of words and concepts even being discussed, even though the window may be more open in other areas. I don't want to do the thing where I say, but well, let's pick apart the metaphor precisely because I, I, I see what you're saying. And I think I see where it's helpful. I would say, though, that I, I see it as more of a blackout shade um, on certain parts of it because a screen, again, in, in the summertime, you like screened windows because they keep out the flies, but the fresh air still stays in. And so w- one thing we didn't talk about today um, is sort of, what screening and peer review is actually, you know, happening. And, and we talk, I talked briefly about RFK Jr. and sort of, you know, being very selective about what you cite and what you refer to. So I, I, th- I actually maybe, and I would probably have to think about the, so I don't want to be sort of uh, held to this, uh, you know, quote in a minute, you know, later on. You but, won't be held to it. No, 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 no I understand. No, no, we'll hear this no, interview. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a, in a, in a, in a context context free way is what I mean. Like, I'm not opposed to screens, right? Um, uh, Because I don't think screens, you know, I think if properly used, screens can actually separate, again, flies from fresh air. Uh, I like the fresh air. I'm not crazy about the flies, um, not being in my house anyway. And so, again, peer review is sort of supposed to be a screen of some kind. Um, So I, I guess what I'm saying is I think that what they're doing, what the Trump administration is doing in terms of shutting down inquiry is, is more dramatic than a screen. Um, I think if we had an entire Overton window with a screen, um, it'd probably be okay. Uh, I may regret saying that at some point because of how people construct that screen. Um, but I don't, I don't think that's where they're going here. 